people sometimes ask me, um, is gridlock always such a bad thing? And the answer is no. Sometimes uh, we actually want gridlock. So the way, for example, um, the uh, American political system was set up with checks and balances. Checks and balances is another word for gridlock. Any senator can, can block a bill. So sometimes we want gridlock in politics, sometimes, uh, because it slows down um, too fast, uh, too, um, uh, too quick legislating. It's, it basically can cool tempers. It can um, prevent tyranny of the majority. So gridlock sometimes can be useful in a political sense. Juries and criminal juries, we require unanim unanimity. Any individual can block a decision. And why do we do that? Because we really care more about protecting the rights of the innocent. So there are places in the economy and places in our legal system where we place, where gridlock can have some real value. Um, so instead of a tragedy of the anti-commons, you, you might have a, what I call in the book a comedy of the anti-commons. Sometimes uh, having people be able to block each other is a good thing. But most of the time, for most resources, tragedies of the anti-commons are wasteful and destructive.